President Kolinda Grabar Kitarovic visited the Zagreb Auto Show yesterday. Asked by reporters to comment on the state of the Croatian economy, the president said that it was a fact that Croatia is slowly exiting the crisis, adding that while economic indicators were good, they should be better. She said, however, that the important thing was that Croatian business had adjusted to the conditions of the European and international market, which is resulting in economic growth. She added that more needed to be done in terms of making use of EU funds to strengthen entrepreneurship and exports. Appearing on Croatian Television Studio 4 this morning, the director of the Croatian Employers Association, Davor Majetic, said that employers were still looking to move their operations abroad, citing examples such as electric car manufacturer Mate Rimac and IT mogul Hrvoje Prpić. Majetic said that employers expected government to produce a plan by this summer that would cut back administrative bureaucracy. Speaking in an interview on Croatian television yesterday, the newly elected president of the Peasants' Party, Samobor Mayor Kresho Beljak, was very critical of the incumbent government, in spite of the fact that his party is a part of the governing coalition. He questioned whether the coalition government would be able to stay in office until the end of its mandate, and said that as an appointed prime minister, Tihomir Oreshkovic had no electoral legitimacy. He concluded that the primary problem in the government was between the HDZ-led patriotic coalition and the most list of independent candidates, and that talk of reforms had been reduced a little more than divvying up ministerial seats. According to Doctors Without Borders, at least 260 migrants were injured in clashes with police at the Greek-Macedonian border yesterday. Migrants at the Idomeni camp on the Greek side of the border yesterday tried to tear down the fence surrounding the camp and forcibly cross the border into Macedonia. Macedonian police used tear gas to hold them back. However, Greek authorities accused them of using rubber bullets as well, calling it a dangerous and inexcusable use of excessive force. Since the closing of the migrant route, some 11,000 migrants have been trapped in Idomeni. The Croatian men's handball team has qualified for the Olympic Games in Rio this summer after beating Norway 27-21 in the last game of a qualification tournament in Denmark yesterday. Croatia ended the tournament with two wins over Norway and Bahrain and one loss to host nation Denmark. They will be looking to secure their third Olympic gold medal after Atlanta in 1996 and Athens in 2004. At a draw held in Trieste yesterday, the Croatian men's water polo team found out who will be competing against at the Rio Games. Croatia is in Group B along with Italy, Montenegro, the United States, Spain and France. Competing in Group A are Serbia, Hungary, Greece, Australia, Brazil and Japan. In tennis, Borna Coric fell short of his first career ATP title, losing to Federico Del Bonis of Argentina 6-2, 6-4 in Sunday's final in Marrakesh. In the final two games of the 30th round of play in domestic league football, Dinamo Zagreb edged past Zaprešić 1-0 last night, while Hajduk beat Istra 3-0. Dinamo is first in the standings with 69 points, followed by Rijeka with 65 and Hajduk with 54. Istra and Zagreb are in the relegation zone with 22 and 11 points respectively. In domestic league basketball, Cedevita beat Gorica 96-91 in overtime, while Zagreb beat Kvarner 83-79, also in overtime. At the World Gymnastics Cup in Ljubljana, Croatia's team Srbic took the bronze medal in the high bar. Predominantly sunny this afternoon with some moderate cloud cover in the north of the country. There will be a mild to moderate northwesterly on the coast. Highs will be between 16 to 21 degrees Celsius. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for sunny and warmer weather on Tuesday. Wednesday afternoon we'll see some cloud development that could bring with it some rain in the evening. Expect cooler temperatures and rain on Thursday. Predominantly sunny and relatively warm on the coast. Variable weather on Wednesday and Thursday with a chance of some isolated showers on the northern Adriatic. A moderate to strong southeasterly will shift to a northwesterly on Thursday, bringing with it colder temperatures. 